guys, we're here at our now secret new drafting location uh, where we do all of our drafting and design. Uh, basically, I work here with my engineer and put all the designs for all my edge weapons into AutoCAD. Okay, I'll show you guys all this here. And uh, the reason that this now has to remain top secret is that the last location that we used actually was uh, completely burnt to the ground under some uh, pretty strange circumstances you guys know a lot of my history uh i've had six shops that were shut down uh by law enforcement uh due to illegal searches and seizures and they were basically completely um completely illegally shut down and then the last building that got burnt to the ground so now we're here doing this and show you guys basically the facility and just gonna give you guys a little run around like we did on the last video. We're here working on a, a new design. This is uh, uh, the newest titanium EDC kank that we're working on. You guys have uh, seen some of the titanium EDC kanks from the past already, so you guys know we've had those. Actually, the first neck knife that I came out with was titanium, and this is gonna be a new blend of titanium that I'm specifically using uh, that nobody else in the industry is using and it's gonna be really pretty amazing pretty amazing tool and uh, Just gonna keep running in with you guys and I'll take you guys through the whole process And if you guys want to see what we did on the last whole set check out the last uh, bone tactical Knife and tool edged weapon video one and then now it's been a year since then we've finished several hundred blades from start to finish took you guys through that process and now we're starting all over again, bigger and better, go big or go home. Well, we're taking a little break and we're gonna go see if we can shoot some carp, which is an invasive species, but I'll take you down there and we'll see if, I'll show you what we're talking about. You see him? There's one right in front of me. Yeah. I wanna shoot towards that lady though. She's like at least get him on camera. He's got a whole to his cheek. big one right here but we can't shoot at it because it's not a safe direction of fire okay you guys have been wanting to see some destruction testing with the bone breacher this is the bone breacher right here largest tomahawk on the market that you can effectively wield with one hand largest modern combat tomahawk on the market that you can effectively wield with one hand okay just do a little chopping some random stuff that guys like to chop with uh, with their tools to show you know how they can do. Not bad. That was pretty good there. The front face here is for soft objects, soft tissue, wood, stuff like that. Put it on this surface so you guys can see it better. All right, this, this back portion is for hard objects, penetrating, it can penetrate a Kevlar helmet, car door, doors, windows, things like that. This bottom portion, pry bar, okay, stick it in, pry, all right. The bottom can also be used for strikes in here. It can be used for pull throughs and then follow through strikes. This curvature up here is to protect your hand when you use choke up grip. And then also for hooking movements as well and pull throughs, hooking and trapping movements with Tomahawk martial arts. It's for close quarters here, far extended, okay, here. Got your socket holes and, and hex heads and all that. I'll show you guys now how the 
how it can be used to puncture hard objects with the rear spike. Just broke that uh, tube, uh, solid uh, cinder block in one strike with zero damage to the tail spike. Okay, I'll show you that one more time. I'll try a double here. All right, just devastating. Obviously, that's why it's called the breacher. And again, because of my proprietary blend of 4140 and differential heat treating, there's no damage to the rear spike. Buries all the way deep in uh, soft items as well. Again, bone breaching tomahawk available at bonetactical.com. The bone tactical breaching tomahawk. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, all they're doing is trying to get the morale on top of the ground. That's all they're doing. And, so that's, that's uh, easy. Apparently it's on. Oh, it's on. Watch I ran the BC vessel. And right now we're going to tear it forward. I trust them. They're, they're sitting there. Put, put them on their hands. But they're putting them on their hands. The only thing that is not on the spoil. And now, now they we're producing. They make a call up. So they're in a horrible spot. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, guys, basically, we just finished filming a live video, and we're watching, <laughs> we're watching ourselves on live video. What do you know, Tom? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Oh, I know Jalen Hurst is the best player in the NCAA right now. I know that. <laughs> Yep. We suck. <laughs> <laughs>